Hi, I'm Buzz, and today I'm going to take a closer look at the Fujinon MK series. Now, when I got these lenses out of the box for the first time, one of the things that I immediately noticed was just how rigidly built they were. Uh, they're really solid lenses, have great lens gears, so I think that they did a really good job on fabricating these lenses. The lenses are E-mount, so they're meant for cameras like the FS7 or the FS5 from Sony. The great thing is that you can actually convert these lenses uh, from E-mount to MTF mount, and that makes these lenses available for use on the Panasonic GH5, for example. Now, this is a great thing, and we actually got the lenses from Fujinon serviced by MTF services for the MTF mount. Optically, we just had to uh, test it for ourselves and get out of this office and uh, try and shoot some shots of dreary Amsterdam. So that's what we did. Uh, I took it on the streets together with the Panasonic GH5. So we use both lenses on that. Off the bat, you can see these are good lenses. Um, they're sharp throughout the whole range. They have nice out of focus characteristics, I would say. There's no stabilization in these lenses as well. Um, I think that's not to be expected from this price range. And I'm not so sure if you actually really need it. It's a nice to have feature, but a lot of cameras these days have image stabilization built into the camera themselves. So I'm not so sure that this is really a feature I would really need. Now, both lenses have a macro switch. This means that you can actually get very close to an object. The only thing I noticed um, is that while you use it in macro mode, the images are a little bit softer. So it doesn't have the same look as uh, when you use it without macro. The other thing is that the macro switch itself is the only part of the lens that I feel is a bit too plasticky or too flimsy. Now, the lenses do have some focus breathing. I didn't find it that annoying, to be honest. That being said, I really think these are great lenses for the price range and for what they actually can do. Now, the only advice I want to give to filmmakers who are progressing and um, trying to make a career out of this is that you need to make sure that you'll want to stay on E-mount because these lenses won't convert to PL. If you want to use these on, for example, a RED, that wouldn't be possible. So make sure to make a good choice. But if you're using E-mount, I think these are definitely lenses you should check out. Now, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.